So I just woke up, I managed to just quickly chuck on some clothes and just in time for my Disney tickets to arrive. So I ordered these um, Disney tickets online and they got delivered to my apartment this morning. And now I can have a shower, get ready and go out. So I'm off today to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. There's an observation deck um, about 200 metres um, above the ground and it uh, gives you a really great view of Tokyo. So I'm going to check that out. That's in Shinjuku. And then since I'm in Shinjuku, I'm going to go to the Shinjuku Gyoen National Gardens, which apparently is very beautiful. Guys, can we just all stop and appreciate for the moment the fact that I got bitten by a mosquito twice on my face in Hakone, once on my cheek and once right near my eye. Ow, mosquito! So we're back to sandal weather. Um, so the last few days I've been in my big waterproof boots because it's been raining and now it's back to sunshine and I'm wearing a t-shirt, skirt and sandals. So who to thunk it? We're at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building and we are going up there. Anyway guys, I forgot to say that Ben is heading off to Kyoto today but he decided to join me on my trip to the Metropolitan Government Museum this morning um, and then he'll head to Kyoto on the Shinkansen afterwards. Observatory of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building and oh my gosh it really gives you an idea of how huge Tokyo really is it's just like an ever expanse that you all you can see in the distance pretty much is buildings it is amazing and I would definitely recommend coming up here it's free as well so great if you're trying to save money so from here you can actually see Mount Fuji um, normally, but I think Ben is just destined not to see Mount Fuji because even in Hakone, which is like at the base of Mount Fuji, nowhere we went we could see it. So There's no Mount Fuji, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I've lot. seen it before, but he's never seen it. So, and out there today, it is just a little bit too foggy to see the mountain. And of course, what's an observation tower without a gift shop? Hey mum and dad if you're watching. Even in Japan I can't get things with my name on it. There's C-A-S-E-Y but no K-A-C-Y. What the hell Japan? What the hell? government office building now and now we're just heading across the road to take a look at um, the park which is called the Shinjuku Chuo Park I think I'm not sure but let's take a look I just 
said goodbye to Ben. He's heading off on the Shinkansen now to Kyoto. Um, and I was going to have lunch at a cafe that I found. But um, it looks like it's quite late actually. It's 2.30. So it was like a serve yourself salad bar type place. Um, but it looked like they were actually kind of... It was just the dregs of all the salads. It didn't look that tasty. So I've changed my mind. And now I'm just wandering over in the direction of Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden. Um, and hopefully I'll find something to eat on the way. I just found some delicious 500 yen tempura. I had some prawns, squid, pumpkin, green beans, and some fish, I think. So I'm on the west side of Shinjuku Station. I need to get to the east side to get to Shinjuku Kyoen National Garden. So I've decided to try and go underneath the train station and I'm following these signs that say for east side. So I discovered today that you can pretty much walk around the entirety of Tokyo and never go above ground. And plus you can stop and get yourself a delicious fruit and vegetable juice. So my tip for navigating Tokyo is to know which direction you need to head in. Because each of the train stations, all the exits are basically named north, south, east and west. So if you study a map and know that once you get off of the station you need to kind of head towards the southeast, then just head out to kind of either the south or the east gate and at least that way you know which direction you're heading in. There in the distance, you can see Tokyo Tower. Can you see the red and white thing? This is lawn. Look, and there's nothing stopping me from going to stand or sit on the lawn. Nobody tell the Japanese government that they've left this lawn unbarricaded. Because by Jove, I am going to come back here and sit on that lawn and read a book for hours. Holy moly you guys, this place is just stunning. Garden is now playing old Lang Syne. A good thing to note is Shinjuku Gyoen National Garden actually closes at 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, so if you're wanting to explore, make sure you give yourself enough time. I would highly recommend going, it is just beautiful. In a bookstore here in Shinjuku, and it's really great. It's got a whole floor of uh, books in English. So I'm just about to open up some actual mail that got addressed to me, which is kind of cool. This is my V-Mobile one, so I'm hoping this means that I will be able to get my uh, SIM card all registered and ready to go. And that's about it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, and 
I will see you guys next time. Bye.